about Judas himself. So I'm not going to look at his repentance and things like that, but we're going to still look at these details that just remarkably come so accurately true that were already prophesied in Scripture. Look, look at verse number six. The Bible says, And the chief priests took the silver pieces and said, It is not lawful for to put them into the treasury because it is a price of blood. So this is basically after, like Judas, they didn't want to take the money back, but he just like drops it and like throw. You know, he's just like done with it, right? So now they're just standing around and it's like, well, what are you going to do? You got 30 pieces of silver on the ground. And they're like, well... It's not lawful what they're saying. What they're talking about is, is Moses' law to, to, to put that into the treasury, like to, to put it into the house of God. Because I assume they're probably thinking not to bring the price of a dog into the, you know, into the temple. And, and that, that would be what I'm thinking is, is what they would be referring to. And um, they say here, because it is the price of blood. And then verse number seven says, and they took counsel and brought with them, excuse me, and bought with them the potter's field to bury strangers. And so basically they're just like, well, we got to do something with it. So we're just going to buy this piece of property and just do this, um, you know, just, just like a charity type of a thing where we're not really going to profit off of this. It's just going to be something where we could just bury strangers in it. People, you know, just, just people who don't have anywhere to be buried, just strangers that come in and it's like, okay, well, we'll use it for that purpose. So that's what they decided to do with it. And then this is verse number eight. Wherefore, that field was called the field of blood unto this day. Why? Because it was blood money that bought it. Not to mention Judas, when he went and, go and, and hung himself, he also cut his, his bowels, was his bowels gushed out. So like... The, the way that he hung himself, he, he ended up with his bowels all over the place. And, you know, they had this blood money buying the field of blood. And that's what people knew it as. And people knew that Judas was some big traitor. That's how he went down in history. Judas is the traitor. And, and it was well known. It was published abroad in his time. And it's still published abroad today because we have God's word preserving that fact all throughout history. I mean, think about the one person in history you don't want to be. I'd rather be Adolf Hitler than Judas Iscariot. I mean, think about that. And this is not promoting of Adolf Hitler. <laughs> this is just, if you're going to, I mean, just try to think of like, like who has the worst reputation in history? Judas is just number one. He has to be. You're a betrayer of Jesus Christ. I mean, that's, that's just, be better for that man if he'd never been born. <laughs> 